What's going on, Jam? And welcome back to Dark Cloud. It's going to be the Lonesome Route. Now, guys and gals, we're going to hold back. We're not going to hold back in any way whatsoever. We're going to head straight into the Sun and Moon Temple. Uh, dun 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 dun. Alrighty. The Sun and Moon Temple. Sun or Moon, technically. With a dash, it means Sun or Moon. You know, they're like, what is it? Is it the Sun? Is it the Moon? We don't even know. <laughs> Fucking what an awful way to start the episode. Okay. Oh. Oh. They're going to jerk each other off again. Like, Theo's like, come on, Ollie. You can do it. <laughs> Alright. Exact same shot as before. They were like, she ran out another cutscene. Ah, that's no point. Ollie, can I ask you something? I'm listening. Ollie, you are a warrior. What does a warrior fight for? I made an oath to fight for... Mikala? But I failed to save Mikala. Mikala? Ollie, is she the one who cared for you? When you cared for? Mikala is my fiance. I loved her. Mikala is dead? She disappeared with the village. Oh, I see. So that's why you were so down. Well, let me tell you. I assure you. Mikala has, is, is alive. I don't know why the words didn't come out right there. Is is that true? Probably. Probably? An awful way to put it. Like, yeah, maybe. Oh, look, a shooting star. Lucky cookie su su zucchini? Sure. That was a, <laughs> a lovely little cutscene, that was. Alrighty. Sun and Moon Temple. I love how Ollie just looked at him like such, like, fucking... He's like, shut up, you bitch. Alright. Moseying on through the Sun and Moon Temple. See, I'm actually not too sure when about we'll actually uh, get Ollie as a companion and such, because I know obviously he now he does join us very, very soon, as it sort of instantly re reveals to you whenever it's like, hey, do you want to name this character, by the way? Like, what, what do you want to name this guy? Like, oh, why have you not let me name every character? Well, this guy might be important, you never know. <laughs> it's like, oh, god damn it. Alright. It's a, it's a crab! Oh no! Oh, it's a mimic! Oh no! Fucking got him! Alright. Hey, all right, Krabby Hermit. Okay, I can't really remember you, pal. <laughs> and I won't need to. Okay, that's uh, that was a little bit um, underwhelming. That was, but okay. I was kind of expecting it would be a little bit tougher than that, but that's all right. Alrighty then. Still, what was, I want to I want to go into one of these bonus areas because I know they're half decent. Uh, so what is it? It's a keyhole. God damn, I don't actually. I mean, we tried the treasure key before, didn't we? I think we did. I mean, I know I used my other one before, but. Ugh, damn, I, re I really want to fucking venture to one of them as well, because I want to see what uh, the bonus areas are like in them ones, because I can't... As I said, I mean, Sun and Moon Temple's a bit of like a, a kind of a blank for me as such. Ah, bomb my head. Ah, uh, I thought you did, I thought I remembered him doing a bit of damage to my weapon, to be fair. <clears throat> Alright, pal, come on. There we are. It's okay. We can hold out. Alright. Krabby Hammer, how much damage do you do? Eh, three as well. There's a lot of very, very cheeky enemies in this place. A lot of them do a lot of, like, high, high damage to the weapon as such. Okay. <clears throat> there we are. Beautiful. Let us go. Wee. Okay. But I so hope you guys and gals are still enjoying the Dark Cloud series. It's been absolutely lovely still doing this play playing of this game for you guys as ever. I always seem to say that in every single episode because uh, I'm way too cool. Uh, I don't know. What was that? Oh, bomb my head. Okay. Uh, oh, go on then. Let's swap over to Goro. Goro. I keep saying Goro. God damn, it's Tyler. Fuck, I need to call his right name. There we are. Hello, bomb my head. Oh, I got you. Know, Tyler, it's your time to shine. Go on, pal. Oh, you're close. Oh, hey, <laughs> suicidal Tyler, why not? Alrighty. Uh, King Slates. Alright. Um, do, 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 do. I haven't actually told my friend about how I've uh, named the uh, the Ollie character. Well, after him, obviously. <laughs> and no surprise, his name is Ollie as well. Uh, Mimi. I still have yet to actually use them correctly, to be fair. Because, I mean, I can't, I was, I'm still surprised that they, like, faded away before. Um, because if you guys can, well, actually, to be fair, some of you guys that you may not know, but the very, very start of the series, when I was actually in, uh, at the area of Divine Beast Cave in, uh, what was it called? Nolan Village? Yeah, that was it, yeah. Um, when I was back there, like, I mean, obviously, I tried to use the memes and stuff like that before, and the characters as well, but they just seem to automatically just get rid of them. Uh, ooh, the bag is, oh, the bag is full. Oh, that's not good. Um, yeah, there's no harm in using this. Uh, 140, 30, 30, 30, okay. Bella's turn. Whoop, whoop. All right, that should be okay. Yay, an anti curse army is my favorite thing. All right, come on, Burma man. Hey. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure they probably use a tactic to get kind of killing them without having to blow yourself up, but it, it's so much easier that way. Why not? Da da do, do, I got the fucking tree. 
I got a tree. <laughs> Voice is fucking going for it then. All right. Oh dear, guys and gals. Okay. Um, do do do. Let's use some water. Let's use some cheese. There we are. We're actually not doing too bad for money. We're not doing quite as good as that one time we had like about nine grand, but it's meant because I was a bit of an idiot and spent about like ten of that grand on um, bloody um, fire gems because I'm way too cool. Did I actually? Is there anyone in here? I can imagine like I could miss someone. No, that's fine. Okay, awesome. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. I do love the sound of <laughs> bollocks. I was kind of hoping we'd actually be able to get here and then mosey on back to the exit, but we are having no luck. Damn, okay. On my way, do, 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 on my way. I would like to reach out my hand. On my sail, on my tail, you run. On my way. <laughs> I don't even know. Alright. Come on, Booker. Magical crystal. Alright. There's a one enemy somehow detected me through the wall trying to grab me. <laughs> Alright. What are you? A cheeky bomber man! I, I, I find them very unfitting for this area. Oh, look at that! That was a fucking beautiful hit that was. I find them very unfitting to the area we're kind of in at the moment. Like, I mean, it's such a kind of like, uh, I don't know, like a barren kind of underground. You expect kind of mummies and uh, I guess the kind of crab people kind of makes sense. But like, I mean, because especially as they are kind of like a, I don't know, look like kind of a dust hermit as such. I mean, these guys look as well, but the bomber men just don't suit, if that makes sense. They just don't seem to just kind of fit into the theme of this kind of area, but... I mean, who am I to judge? I don't know. Alright. They're like, oh, this is where I come from, man! It's a man of the color masking! Alright. Good eye! Good, good, good eye! Ugh, words. Alright. Ah! You bloody bugger! Alright. Come on. Bring it on, Mimic! Wah! There we are. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Alrighty. <clears throat> Alrighty. But yeah, so I mean, guys and girls, I'm, I'm kind of really excited to kind of get this game uh, done at one point soon. Because obviously, then, not long afterwards, we can start Dark Cloud 2. Woo! Or, or Dragon Quest 8, I'm not too sure. But to be fair, I can imagine I will do Dark Cloud 2. Because I do want to come fresh out of this straight into Dark Cloud 2. Kind of, I know it may be a little bit of a pain. Because I can imagine at the start, I'm going to be like, oh my god, I'm basic weapons again. I'm a bit of a basic bitch. And hopefully, I'll be able to kind of pick up on the controls and stuff like that quite quick. But um, it's going to be a huge kind of like interesting kind of experience for me, to be fair. Like, I'm finally going, going from this one, finally playing the second one. Because I've like never played it. Obviously, only. Golem. There we are. Bloody hell. All right. Ah. Okay, but it's going to be a huge kind of experience for me, to be fair, to go and f from this one to go actually go to Dark Cloud 2. Because, I mean, especially as this game has been such a huge part of my life, like, since when I was younger. I mean, it's going to be just... I don't know why, I'm, I'm actually genuinely, like, it's, it's so exciting for me to actually finally exactly get the chance to actually play Dark Cloud 2. Oh, damn. Um, I haven't attached all the stuff. I can't... Oh, damn, I have to well. I have attached some random stuff to some of these, haven't I? Yeah, I, I remember doing this now. Um, let's just make sure I haven't got anything weird attached to any of Bella's stuff. Uh, that's fine. Oh, we've got space stuff in the heart shoot. Nice. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I don't know what we'd want to add on here. Let's go for a random... Stormbreaker. Makes sense. I like it. What does this, what does this improve? Ah, nothing that really comes... Why, why is the purple one ice? I think it seems a very weird choice to be for me, that does, I have to admit. But, um, Ayo, okay. And what does this one do? It's like... Oh, that does mimic. Huh. I could actually come in handy, I guess, for uh, later on, I suppose. If I do, uh, was it uh, Gory? Uh, t I mean, Tyler's weapon. Tyler's weapon. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what Tyler's weapon that's one that had uh, needed the theme jig. Hey, fire! That's actually quite good for my weapon, that is. All right. Do, 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 do. I really want to find a bonus key theme jig. Oh, one of these is gonna. Oh, it's gonna be a bloody. Yep, I was about to say one of them is gonna be mimic. One was gonna be map. So, woo! Fun times. All right. Pretty grab this before we finish off the mimic. I really want to find a bonus place, though. I want to get all them, like, kind of accessories. I know I could easily go back to, like, um, Divine Beast Cave and get some from there. But that's, like, what's the fun in that? And as well, Queens, to be fair. Queens probably be, like, a prime location now. Especially as I actually can purchase the bonus places and I have to kind of, like, chance them on, on finding them. Hey. Fuck! There we are, Christ. <laughs> I was taking some hits then. I, I didn't even get pretty care. I was like, meh. Come on, sunshine. Try and bite my head off. All right. Let's go! I can imagine we're gonna see Tyler's uh, Ollie's character pop up very soon, especially as like Theo and him just had that like kind of bonding moment about his like uh, his fiance. I don't actually can't talk into that about, uh, much to be fair, but basically his fiance is kind of a big section of the story. Like I mean his backstory is such it kind of works the same way as like um, Goro's dad did for him, obviously except you know 
his fiance wasn't his dad. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, anyway, let's uh, to the next floor. I mean, I mean, I may as well kind of power through the floors now until it actually just stop me for and uh, sort of say, "Hey, you need Ollie for this part," because it, it will do that eventually. It'll be like, "Hey, there's 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 no enemies here, and you need Ollie." And I thought we were here for a sec. Then I was like, "Oh shit, we're here." Okay. Um. All right. But no, I mean, um. Yeah, it kind of works the same kind of way. It's kind of very kind of like, uh, something bad happened to so-and-so. Oh no, I must become a hero and overcome my, um, anxiety or whatever it is. But, kind of cliche kind of stuff. But, I mean, it's just still not too bad, to be fair. There are much worse characters written in horror- in, uh, in video games these days, so <laughs> it's not too bad. Okay. Magical crystal. Alrighty. To be fair, you actually never- well, I mean, when I was younger, I never really heard of too many, like, kind of exclusively bad video games. Like, these days, you always kind of hear of a lot of them. Like, say, for example, a big one recently, but what- not re I, Holy shit, I'm gonna power through another one, Christ. I will have to get another one of these in sometime soon. Um, well, a couple of them, to be fair. Uh, do 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 Okay. But I mean, like, I, I'm sorry, I'm speaking kind of weird, I'm like, okay. That's what's sounding all edgy and shit. <laughs> anyway, um, but no, so I mean, like, um... You kind of hear a lot of games like this, to be fair, like these days. I mean, a lot of kind of bad games and such. Like, I'm not saying this is a bad game, sorry. I mean, you do hear a lot of like, kind of bad games and such like these days. Like, um, Right to Hell Retribution was a big one. Um, like, just generally, like, kind of a lot of big games, like, being really, really bad. Like, back when I was younger, I can't remember hearing that too much. But then again, I guess when I was younger, I didn't really pay attention to kind of, like, the bad negative reviews and stuff. Because, you know, I didn't know how to use a computer and stuff. Oh, What is that? Okay. Um. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Uh Oh, actually, yeah. Ah, look at you. There you are, Tyler. And uh, there you are, Ruby. Have a, have a cheeky little uh, gourd. Why not? What's this bad boy? What? What? What do you mean can't carry me more? Look at Blaze face. What do you mean? Uh, oh, excuse me, fam. I, uh... I would like to tell you right now that I, uh... Unless it's an attachment. That could, be actually, that could actually be why. Um, okay. Get a weapon, customize this. I'm gonna just put the fire on there because I know I'm gonna forget to put that later on, so I'll pop that there. Um, what do I actually have now? Because I haven't really paid attention too much. It's still a shit ton of ice and endurance things. Like, what? When are we gonna use n n endurance? Uh, sax, you know what? Just because you're a Saxon, I'm gonna let you have that. Alright. Hey, that's actually pretty good. Nice. Alright. Hello, you cheeky little devil. I tell you what we will do, actually. We'll move you on back, because it looks like it's kind of an area back there with, like, just one room by itself. I don't really want to go all the way back there and then have to come all the way back, so... I'm going to take a wee chance. Why not? I, d I know I keep kind of ignoring them things as a whole. Like, I mean, I I'm literally kind of ignoring them for kind of a passion now, because I really don't want to chance any of my characters kind of going wrong. I mean, before even, like, Tyler was kind of a position where I could just sort of just pop them on there and no one would really care. But as I'm kind of using all the characters kind of, like, a little bit more, I suppose? I mean, I'm not a little bit... I'm a little bit more kind of more affected by... What kind of happens to him such? I can't really like smoothing him on there for no reason. Alright. <clears throat> bomber man. Bomber, 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 bomber man. Alright. Come on. Bonus thing. Am I going to be lucky? Of course not. Alright. We've got a couple more chests. There might be some. You never know if we're lucky. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, grab ourselves some chicken. Chicken. Premium chicken. I like you get premium chicken, like somewhere out there's some like shit chicken. That's, that's all it's called, just like piece of shit chicken. Like it's not even worth, ed it's not even edible chicken. Like, <laughs> the premium chicken, it's like M&S chicken. This is not just any chicken. This is premium M&S chicken. A joke which most of you people from different countries who are not in the England world will not understand. <laughs> oh well, okay. I'm actually quite intrigued by, by where most of you guys are from, to be fair, because I'm always, like, uh, kind of, like, in interested in, like, how my statistics kind of look these days, because I was, like, kind of checking out to see exactly where my views kind of come from. I was talking about that on an episode not long ago, a long back, I think. I was kind of mentioned about how I had some, like, odd views from, like, Egypt, something like that. Um, actually, I, I remember actually back in the day, Egypt was, like, one of my big ones. I don't know why, but uh, I must have someone in Egypt who watched quite a bit of my content, but, um... I love how I say big ones, to be fair, like, back in the day when I had quite, like, not too many subscribers, like, if I got, like, a couple of views, uh, a couple of viewers from, like, the same country, that was kind of a big thing, to be fair, because my statistics would be like, holy shit, you're popular in this place, it's like, and they'll send me emails and stuff, they'll be like, yo, Jordan, congratulations, you made it to Egypt, <laughs> they'll actually say, oh, sacred path key, yes, oh, I, that, damn, my wishes came true, um, <laughs> talking about Egypt, Egypt did it for me, <laughs> I don't know why, anyway, um, but no, I mean, I'm always kind of intrigued to see exactly, like, where people are from, like, I actually view my content, because I think it's, uh, I want to say Keegan's from the US, the person that kind of watched my content a lot. 
And, uh, because I'm pretty sure you're the one that always mentioned before about the how Digimon didn't really make it over there as well. Or, or is, I don't know, there's, there's always a couple of names that kind of pop up, and I'm never too sure who's who. But, um, obviously, with that, you're going to look in the comments, because I know exactly who's who, you know. My speech is terrible. I'm like, I'm fucking talking shit all the time. Holy shit, this guy's pwning me up. All right, excuse me. Uh, let me just kind of heal myself. I'm sorry, I'm kind of being very presumptuous about all the stuff I'm doing right now. I'm sort of just like running out there. I'm like, nah, who cares? All right, come on, bomb man. There we are. Perfectly done. All right. Oh! I love it when fucking animations are invisible. It's great. I fucking love it. It's amazing. God damn it. All right. Well, we've got a secret path key anyway, so we can get some more fucking bonus area stuff anyway. That's actually quite good, to be fair, because, I mean, we have now got a kind of like a perfect little moment to grab some stuff. And uh, we can leave the dungeon. It should be a perfect little length of an episode, you know, as you do. Holy water. Water. All right. And. Hey, and. Uh, there we are. Beautifully done. All right. But no, so I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I think for a long time this channel now, like, I mean, unless I, for some reason I take some kind of different direction with the channel as a whole, um, this channel could be very, very heavily kind of focused towards level 5 games for a long time. Because, I mean, obviously I've got this uh, Dark Cloud 1, Dark Cloud 2, uh, or Dark Chronicle, whatever you want to call it. Um, then obviously after that I want to do uh, uh, Dragon Quest 8 at one point, and obviously that's going to be a big one, to be fair. Uh, the last enemy, that's... that's Probably one of the few times that actually happened then. I was thinking that's actually the last, that was the la literally the last enemy rather than like being like the, you know, second last enemy that actually dropped the key then. It's quite cool. Um, but, um, yes, I mean, I've like Dragon Quest 8, and then after Dragon Quest 8, it's probably something like Nino Kuni, and then after Nino Kuni, I wouldn't play my, playing, mine's playing the game like uh, Rogue Galaxy and stuff like that, and they're both like, all of them are, um, oh, I got worried it's the wrong one then. Um, quicksand is churning, the coffin is about to drift away in the quicksand. Okay. Cloth the coffin. <laughs> Holy fuck, this is morbid. Okay. That's kind of worrying he's gonna lay down then. Just lay down on his back, like, I accept my fate. It's so cool. I like how the walls are like jagged. Like, you have no idea if you're going up or down or not. Or you uh, might be going down. It'd be quite funny if we were just stuck here for eternity now. Like, uh, well, you came one direction in the quicksand, you cannot go back. Alright. So we could actually have a very, 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 very good run here, to be fair. So obviously, if I beef myself up to make sure I'm actually okay, I don't want to kind of get killed anytime soon. Um, yeah, so I mean, um, yeah, we could have an extremely good run. Like, if we actually, if we kill enough mimics and stuff, we could manage to level up a weapon and find some beefy stuff as well. Beautifully done, mimic. Oh, it's a beefy amount. How, a little uh, XP as well. Oh, what am I going to get? A bar of soap! That was entirely worth it. <laughs> Fucking soap. All right. I guess you have to have shit items in video games as well, don't you? My speech is terrible. I'm, I'm, I'm like fucking. I don't even know what's going on. I was like, I tried you, I don't know what was going on then. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, shit items in. I don't know. Because uh, I was, as I've said in the previous episodes as well, I was doing my acting thing the other day, and uh, my speech was horrible during that. Like, I was trying to do some narration parts because my uh, my role is kind of like as a kind of a lead character, and oh, attachment bag is full. Isn't that cheeky? Um, I think uh, sacks can come in handy here. Uh, endurance. Take all of the endurance sacks, please. All right. What are we gonna get? Hope and a gem. Hey, amethyst, the one gem that really doesn't come in too much in handy for what I want to use. That's fine. I'm sure coming handy, handy for someone else anyway. Mimic. There we are. And oh, 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 yeah, so for a very long period of time, this could be a very, very level 5 focused uh, channel as a whole. So, I mean, yeah. If you guys and gals are in it now, you may be in it for a very long ride. So, yeah. I, I did have, like, a uh, kind of an ep epiphany recently, though. I have no idea if I actually talked about this or not, but, um... I'm pretty sure I did, actually, yeah. Um, but basically, like, what I was kind of thinking about recently was, like, uh, well, kind of recently, anyway. Um, I was, uh, kind of just thinking about, like, where I'm going with the channel as a whole. Like, um, I've kind of accepted the fact that I will never become, like, a hugely famous YouTuber. Like, a lot of people back in the day, uh, this sounds, this is not self-centered at all. I mean, this isn't me sort of saying it myself. Um, if I, is that maxed out? I want to make sure my weapon isn't ready to upgrade. <laughs> One point away, damn. All right. Come on, Mimic. Um, but no, back in the day, like, when I first released my kind of older, kind of more meme kind of content, like my Shrek simulators and stuff like that, my, my simulator series as a whole, um, like, some people, it sounds really strange, but some people actually commented on my stuff sort of saying that I could actually become the next PewDiePie. Now, I, I, when I say that, I mean I literally had about two people say it, so I wasn't exactly saying, like, everyone ever was saying that. So, I mean, I'm honestly not trying to be big-headed. I'm not saying, oh, I'm the next PewDiePie, I'm so cool. Because, I mean, I, I, I really have not enough faith in myself to ever think I'll actually become that high. Um, but, I mean, I, I kind of thought about it at one point recently. I was kind of thinking, like, 
we're eventually fucking still not enough undead. Holy shit. Um, I was thinking like, where could I eventually take my channel? Though? Like, what could I eventually do with my channel? Such. I mean, I, I kind of mentioned this like slightly in the uh, video before this one, but it's like. Right now, like, I mean, I'm happy with how the channel is, and I mean, I wouldn't expect it to ever come that higher. I mean, I'm working in part of, like, part-time outside this, I do I do university studies, I act alongside of this, I direct alongside of this. I do a lot of, side, a lot of stuff alongside of YouTube, but that doesn't actually involve YouTube directly. Um, I do possibly maybe want to in integrate the, uh, all of my kind of things together at one point. <laughs> Not sales, I don't think I'll be starting to selling, any selling anything on here, but, um, maybe something else, but, uh, yay, dinosaur, another fucking useless thing. Um, but no, I mean, like, um... I've kind of accepted the fact that none of these kind of things are ever going to come to like ha like together. Like I'm not expecting one day for me to be like, oh, I've got millions of subscribers, I can quit my job, I can become a full time YouTube. Fuck! Damn. Okay. Uh. <laughs> All right. Uh. Cheese. Eat the cheese. All right. Eh. Come on, mimic. Oh, fuck. Oh. 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 There we are. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. After this, I will continue what I was saying. <laughs> it's okay. I will not lose track of the conversation. I'm remembering it. There we are. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. All right. Um, but also, like, um, yeah, I mean, like, back in the day, like, I mean, I kind of hoped for the, my channel to eventually kind of reach that kind of potential a lot of people kind of do when they start YouTube. But I've kind of faced the fact of what my channel is eventually going to become. My channel, I think one day is going to be very, very representative of a lot of other people's channels Like I really respect. Um, this YouTubers I like called, uh, this YouTuber I really like called Yuri the Wind. Um, his main channel's got about 100,000 subscribers and his Let's Play channel's got about 20,000 subscribers. And I can imagine myself becoming eventually... I thought so. I, I was not expecting anything good to come out of that chest then. Um, but I mean, like, I would expect my channel eventually maybe to possibly maybe reach that kind of level. level kind of like 20,000, maybe 100,000 subscribers if I'm lucky. And just like the general kind of like mid-popular kind of range. Like, there's another YouTuber I really like called Necroscope. I'm pretty sure he's on about like 80,000 subscribers now himself. Uh, he's been doing YouTube for about seven years now as well. So he's been doing it for... Well, actually, Christ, actually, sorry. Uh, probably about... Holy shit. It's been about nine years. I mean, nine or ten years now, to be fair. Because I... I yeah, I started YouTube when he was on about seven years altogether, so that's... Holy shit, that's crazy. Anyway, um... The, but no, I mean, so like, um... Yeah, so I mean, like, uh, I mean, just like... I can imagine myself being on that kind of like, uh, like kind of level as well. Like, I mean, just kind of like the generally kind of kind of popular kind of channel where it has its own kind of like sub base, but it isn't like fully popular like kind of PewDiePie, Markiplier, all them kind of stuff. Not like hugely kind of popular kind of channels. I really like them channels, by the way. I really enjoy them kind of channels too. Um, like as I said, I'm a huge fan of Achievement Hunter, and they're kind of like quite a... They're definitely one of the up there kind of like kind of uh, content pr providers these days. Holy shit! That was a terrible speech. I was like con content p p p p p providers. Anyway, um, but no. So I mean, like, um, can it be us? I'll clear all you guys in this room, why not? But I mean, like, I've kind of accepted my channel eventually to become kind of like a very kind of substandard kind of like YouTube channel. I mean, it's just the way things will be, to be fair. I'm not expecting to ever become like ex insanely popular or like over the top, like insanely rich from that YouTube at all. Like, I mean, like PewDiePie or Markiplier or something like that. It's, I'm never going to be able to establish myself like that. It's just not going to ever happen. I mean, it's sometimes just to kind of accept as such. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't ever seek fame from this YouTube stuff. I just kind of just seek enjoyment, to be fair. It's been a hobby of mine for forever now and the fact that I earn about 50 pounds a year from it is a bonus <laughs> 50 pounds a year that's such a I mean for someone that like wants to aspire to like work like as YouTube as a job just consider this I've been doing YouTube for two years now I've been trying my anus off for about I'd say try my anus off for a good like nine months of that I'd say three months of that I have to admit I've kind of lazy a little bit I've caught personally this kind of period of my life a little bit of a lazy period as well when I've just been doing this a little bit of laziness but a lot of time before I was doing proper hardcore um, videos daily I was making sure I did content every single day I ensured that I did everything kind of like correct I did like a lot of like good really good thumbnails and stuff I've, I've been really impressed with the thumbnails I've been doing for this video to be fair but like I put a lot of heart and soul into videos and I still do now but I put a, I just sort of don't Put as, I, I think the way to put it is I put back in the day I, was, I used to put a lot of heart and soul into a variety of videos whereas now I kind of put a lot of heart and soul into like a kind of like a one kind of video as such anyway would you guys say anything different now hey Booker I saw a shooting star that's a good sign we might get lucky maybe Ollie's uh, maybe Ollie will re regain his confidence we really need him uh, yeah, maybe um, I didn't save Mar uh, Makara I'm so sorry must save her now well uh, well Take your time on that. Just consider. Don't worry. I'd let me just finish off the dungeon. Maybe the whole game first. Then you can join us. Okay. Um. 
But no, so I mean, I've kind of, I really have accepted just the fact that my YouTube channel won't ever become something insanely popular. I mean, I know a lot of you guys really enjoy my content, and I really respect that, and I really, I really am uh, personally really happy with the fact that you guys do enjoy the content, and it makes me so happy the fact that you're enjoying it too. But like, I don't ever expect to become something so insanely popular that we're ever going to be like, just overwhelmed by the match out like stuff we have on this channel but i don't know that's, that's my own opinion anyway so i think we have all the free sisters by the looks of it hey beautiful let's go have a little, little visit to them hello free sisters what are you saying love adivia <laughs> hey little boy hi i'm divia the middle sister of the free sisters nice to meet you um what do you need for your, your home can you store the cabin? It's just for a storage space, but it would really help. That's quite nice. I expect you'd be like, I want to get away from my sisters. They're so mean. I don't know. Anyway. But no, so I mean, it's kind of a big thing to kind of talk about, but I just generally have accepted it. I'm sort of like, this is the way my life will kind of become. I've never expected my YouTube channel to be like, oh my God, it's insanely popular. Lonesome Ravlux is the way things will become. And I mean, Another good example is like a channel called Psychedelic Snake. Uh, I've, I fucking love Snake for a long time now. I mean, his kind of channel is kind of one of the ones that kind of inspired me to do my stuff as well. And um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of... He, he's on about like, I think it's 50,000 subscribers now. And he has kind of like an adoring kind of fan base as such. So I mean, it's quite cool that he has that kind of little base as well. But then he's not like insanely popular as well. I, I don't know. I just find it really kind of cool. Anyway, I'm going gonna to shush for a sec. Um... How do you do? Welcome to Muscaraka. I am I, I am Makara, the baby of the three sisters. It is a pleasure to meet you. Okay, what do you need for your home? Home? Please keep the tradition of the pole guarding. I don't want this to have anything bad happen to us. Okay, of course I can sort that out for you, my dear. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of in a deep topic to kind of end this. I'm sorry, I've kind of edited both the last video and this video on like a kind of deep topic. But um, yeah, so I mean, I've kind of very much accepted. Are you? Have I met you? Oh, you? What do you want from this village? I'm Nagida, the eldest of three sisters. Don't you forget that. Damn, girl, you, you, you fan. <laughs> I love how her breasts just poke out of her chest. I say even just like they're not even actually just naturally there. They're like, whoop. Like the, like the developers just made a basic model, like added, like basically made my model and just added breasts to it. <laughs> anyway, um, what do you need for your home? I put many of my dresses in, uh, in my odds and ends uh, case that I always place on top of the roof. Um, don't place it on the roof? Ah, uh, sure, why not? Okay, uh, I might actually have all your stuff. I bloody well do, don't I? Look at that! Hey, I've even got stuff for Chubaloo's house or Chubaloo's house. Okay, that's actually. Oh, and I even have enough for the bloody oasis. Nice, awesome, N nice, <laughs> right, Shraggy? And <laughs> all right, um, awesome. That's actually really cool. Okay, let's uh, let's go see Chubaloo, Chubaloo first. Uh, Chubaloo. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, Jabubu. He's one sexy looking motherfucker. Why? I don't understand. Sorry, I said a quick sip of drink. But why? Why? Oh. It's you. Hi. Hey there. Looking at me house, returning to normal. I just, I just felt like screaming. Uh, say, why don't you come in? What, what are you screaming? Why? Because your house returned to normal? Really? Why is my house perfect? Um, I really appreciate this. Thanks to you, now I can uh, live my ordinary life again. Here. It's dangerous to go alone, take this. Um, this is to show my gratitude. Hey, that's pretty sweet to be fair. Not, one, not the worst uh, gift I've been given to my friend. Um, by the way, have you noticed something seems wrong here? The aesthetic sense uh, they've, uh, they have here in uh, Muscaraca is not very good. Um, that Ollie is regarded as, as handsome and desirable. <laughs> and I regard this plain looking. Shouldn't they? Shouldn't they take a, a better look at me? I mean, come on. <laughs> this is great. Um, what is the definition of beauty anyway? Does such a be uh, uh, does, does such a thing really exist? No, because it's derived from people's personal views. Therefore, the one who is uh, seen as beautiful by more people is is beautiful. Okay, but wait. That means I am plain looking after all. No, that can't be. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, is he going to go Y again? Ah, why? <laughs> I like him. He's got my vote. Okay. Let's go uh, loot his house quickly. I saw some stuff on the inside while we're doing the cutscene. I quite like him. Is it? What was his name again? Alabubu? I think it's Alabubu. Oh, Akabubu. 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 All right. Fruit of Eden, hey, you're holding back on me, love. What are you doing? 
And some che oh, and some cheese. Some cheeky little cheese. Some cheeky cheese. All right. Let's go see the three sisters, and we'll call that it for this episode. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, come on. Adventure Day 29, afternoon. Hello, girls. Oh, no. Uh, 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 oh. Uh, oh no, the middle one's taking an advance on me. Uh oh, play. I, I don't want an incestuous force and play. Oh, damn, well, actually, you guys are pretty hot, you know. I'll, 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 I'm, 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 I'm game, I'm game, I don't mind. <laughs> oh, Booker, welcome. Wow, pretty sharp, kid. Come to collect this uh, reward already. Sorry, can't help you. Uh, shall I give you some candy, dear? He's like, fuck off, mate. It's a fucking candy, you bitch. Oh, sis, Booker didn't come here for that. Don't be mean. Oh, did you hear that? Here we go again. Makara's got uh, this bad habit of vilifying people. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, okay. I didn't meant it in that way. I didn't mean it in that way. I, stop it, both of you. You two are always fighting lately. Hello, gorgeous. What are you saying? Oh, 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 that's why we built this house so far. Nice, okay. Makara, you're alive. <gasps> Ollie. Uh-oh, not this guy again. Wait, he's, he's, dating, he's dating the little one? Holy shit. Okay. Um, Makara. I'm, I, I just completely forgot he's dating the youngest one. That's really kind of fucked up. Anyway, he looks about like 82 and she looks about like 12. Anyway, um, Makara, I'm really glad you're still with us. I really am. I didn't really link that together when I uh, heard him say Makara before. I'm happy too, Ollie. Oh, look at them. So sweet. Please, not here. No mushy stuff. Ollie, you tell me. Why Makara? I'm better at everything than Makara, so why not me? Makara, 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 always Makara. Tell me, why is that? That's actually not too bad for me. <laughs> That's quite a good narration. I'm like, I'm, I'm not too bad. Um, there are things Makara does better than you, Nikita. So she's the, she's who I want to be with. Okay, fine. Now let me ask you something. What does Makara do better than me exactly? She's like, well, he, she does give, she gives pretty good head. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> At last, secret will be known. It was a year ago, I was stung by a scorpion. If I remember rightly, there's some weird moments in this scene, and I'm not 100% sure what happens, but I think it goes a bit odd, but we'll see. This is it. I am finished. A scorpion sting. I will die. What? What's the matter, Mr. Ollie? Are you okay? Are you alright? Your tits are making me feel alright, girl. Nikita. A scorpion got me. I wouldn't live much longer. I'll call the doctor right away. Stay here. No time. Stay, Nagida. Don't want to die this. This? Uh, I'll call the doctor. Stay here. Mr. Ollie. Mr. Ollie? Master Ollie, what are you doing here? A scorpion got me. I will die soon. Stay, stay by me for a while, Makara. I won't last much longer. It's my last wish. Stay, Makara, by dying, Ollie. Thank you, Makara. <laughs> Bitch slap. <gasps> Silly, you're the strongest warrior in the desert. Who will protect Muscaraka when you you're gone? So I panicked my uh, my recording stopped then. Um, Scorpion's venom. Nothing can be done. I'm dying. Mr. Ollie, we need you here in Muscaraca. And I need you too. <laughs> I remember this now. <laughs> suckle on my nipple, baby. Just suckle, it's fine. Also, her hand placement as well. It's just like a little bit odd. It's like, oh, oh yeah. You, you rub it like that, baby. Um, Don't do that, Makara. You'll kill yourself. Stop, Makara. Stop. Just sprays his nipple juice everywhere. This, mus uh, this Muscaraca needs you. And I need you too. Sorry for any background noise. Some uh, kids are screaming downstairs. My room got awfully quite dark for some second then. Oh, 
There we are. <laughs> Why did the game had frozen? I kind of pissed myself off. Um, <laughs> Makara sucked Makara the poison from me. And she became infected. Makara was dying and fought for three days. Makara risked her life to save me. Sorry, one second. My mouth's getting awful dry. Okay. <laughs> um, if it weren't for Makara, I probably wouldn't be here. Really? So that's what happens. Makara has incredible courage. No one can match it. Not even me. I fell in love with Makara. She's like, hmm. I guess she does give quite good head then. <laughs> hmm. Now I see. So that's why Makara's lying, uh, lying there too when I brought the doctor to you. And Makara probably asked Ollie not to say anything about it, huh? Well, I guess, Makara. I admit it. I can never have uh, acted as bravely as you did. You are the one for Ollie. There's really no room for me between you two. Sis. Nagita. Thank you. Booker's like, oh, this is Ox. Booker, take me with you and we will beat that evil wizard. Wait, what? Has anyone even established there's an evil wizard in there yet? Uh, oh, uh, do you mean evil genie? Fuck it. Different storylines, why not? I'm pretty sure there's a wizard in this uh, the dungeon, but oh well. Um, I understand now what Theo uh, was trying to say. I forgot this. Real strength doesn't come from your fists. It comes from your cock. <laughs> it basically is what the story is. Um, it comes from your heart. Theo and Makara helped me remember that. Ollie. Uh, Ollie will try once more to become the strongest warrior. <sighs> Ollie became an ally. Duh. This is gonna be not fun at all. Dear God, fucking got Ollie now. He's gonna have an Ollie dungeon soon as well. That's gonna be fucking fun. All right. I'll be I'll be with Makara for just a while. Booker, you go ahead and I'll catch up with you. All right, catch you later, folks. Did I even get a reward for this? What's my What's my reward to get given the shitest character in the world? Christ. All right. Hello, Theo. Uh, Booker, I couldn't help overhearing outside. So Ollie's back to normal. I really wanted Ollie to get back to his old self again. I'm really glad. No, it's okay. I'll say goodbye to Ollie from here. Um, if we if we talk too much, it may be hard for me to go back to the village. Um, it's the end of my mission here. Really? Are you, are you sure? Yeah, I mean, your mission was to. to okay, sure, why not? Um, I'm sure Ollie will be great uh, at helping you on your quest, Booker. So long. So really, all you wanted was like a scapegoat to get out of like being with me. I get it, bro. It's fine. We're not friends. I I understand. Oops, I almost forgot. Pardon me. To uh, whew, pardon me. Sorry. Okay. Uh, turn to the last chamber where the uh, moon ship is kept. You need both the sun signet and uh, which is kept by the sand warriors, uh, and the moon signet, which we uh, we moon people control. I believe the sun signet has been handed down uh, for years to village chiefs. Uh, the problem is the moon signet, which was supposed to be kept by us. Um, Nem doesn't like, uh, Lil Hassel, so he left it with the Sand Warriors so they could, uh, manage the entire, uh, temple. Oh, but please, don't blame, uh, Nem. Managing a tomb is hard work. Anyway, both of them are kept by the people of this village. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's getting really bad. Um, remember now, you need both signals to enter the, the last chamber. Dun, dun, dun. So, I guess this is all I have to say. Make sure you beat this wimpy genie. Gone, Theo. Get your little ass out of there. <laughs> See, he can still use magic. Damn. Anyway, so, ladies and gentlemen, after a very, very, very long episode, and a very kind of productive episode, to be fair, we have now finally ac acquired Ollie as a companion. Now, how strong is his weapon right now? Because I know it's going to be like, it's going to be probably absolutely shite. Ah, that's actually not too bad. 35 is actually not awful, to be fair, but... It's not the best. <laughs> oh dear, we're going to have some fun playing as him. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. It's absolutely lovely playing this game for you guys, as ever. If you guys and girls want to check out more of my content, there's a link in the description below. Have a quick check uh, out my stuff. There's more enough stuff there to keep you guys. I'm more entertained. More... More than entertain. There we go. Um, once again, I'm lost my after, and once again, you guys are beautiful as ever, as ever. I'm sorry I've kind of rambled on, on occasion this episode. I've kind of been talking about a lot of kind of different stuff, and kind of got a little bit deep on occasion as well. But um, ladies and gentlemen, it's been absolutely lovely playing, playing for you guys uh, as ever. And um, yes, yeah, so I will see you on the next one. Uh, uh, I'm jumbling this outro up like a fucking bad one. All right, um, say la vie, hasta vista, and goodbye. Watch out.